Hey everybody, it's Al with Bobcat. So today, uh, I wanted to pick up on this drawing sample here. We've drawn the part itself. The next thing that I wanted to look at is creating the subplate to hold the part because we're gonna need to machine both the inside and outside. And uh, you know, you gotta hold the part somewhere and uh, somehow. So this is one method that you can uh, use when you want to get clearance around the outside of the part. So, so this is the part here itself. What I'm going to do is I'm going to create a new layer and make it active, okay? And uh, from that layer, what I want to do is um, I want to draw a um, I want to draw, I'm going to just draw some lines, so we'll do a horizontal line here, and then we'll do one here, and then we'll do one here, and then we'll do one here, okay? So that just gives me a, a rough idea, I mean the size of, uh, the size of this, uh, this shape here is really not uh, so important. I just want to make sure that it has room all the way around. Okay, so then um, from here, you know, I'm I'm gonna use these these hole locations, and uh, I'm gonna drill and tap some holes or use some pins. I mean, there's a, a bunch of different ways that you can do this. So I'm gonna extrude this curve. Uh, let's go the other way. So we'll say it's. Uh, half inch, one inch, three quarter, what have you. Okay, so we're gonna go like that, which is fine, all right? And then from there, uh, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna cut these holes out, so I'm gonna do an extrude, um, I'm gonna do an extrude cut. Now, here's the thing, I already have this model here, so, um, I gotta bring it down a little bit deeper. So we're gonna translate this. We'll go. All right. So that puts it, I believe, at the bottom. Uh, it looks like I gotta go a little bit further down. So there we go. So that would be at the bottom. Okay. So we have this. Um, what I'm going to do from here is, like I said, I'm going to uh, punch these holes uh, through the part. So we're going to do uh, extrude, extrude cut. And uh, let's turn the solid layer off. And we'll say this one, this one, and this one. And, uh, <clears throat> all right, so we're going to cut some holes into the part. All right, so now we have some holes. Okay, so let's turn the CAD geometry off. So those holes are going to rep represent their tapped holes or what have you, or pins or whatever you're going to use. But we're going to use this subplate in order to hold this part um, as part of the, the machining process, okay? So, because we want to get clearance all the way around, so we have our subplate and we can bolt through those holes and then hold the part in place. The other thing, let me do this too. We have this uh, circle in the center. Let's do an extrude boss. Uh, no, we're going to do an extrude surface. The reason why we're going to do an extrude surface is um, I'm going to bring that down. Make sure it intersects. I don't want it to go through. But, okay, so that way we have something in the center for it to align to and then we have some uh some pins maybe we'll put pins in there uh so that it it stays put whatever the case might be but the reason why we did an extrude curve here and then we'll end up adding this uh adding that uh extrusion to our subplate 
is because if, if we tried to do an, ex, uh, an extrude boss with this model here, it would actually end up getting picked up by this other body. And that's not what we would want to happen because uh, we want to keep them two separate shapes. So we do an extrude, that way we can Boolean them to the body that we want it to go to. So let's go ahead and change this here. All right, let's change the color of it. So we'll just go to like a gray color, okay? So that way, now we have some holes that we can put bolts in or what have you. We have a boss in the center to hold the part. We could engrave the part number or the date or something like that if need be. But um, okay, so we got our subplate set up. The next thing that we want to do is turn everything off. And then we're going to get into the cam tree. And uh, let's go ahead and, uh, and program this shape to begin with. So... We'll create a new job, milling job, three axis. Uh, we'll go ahead and um, uh, pick up this back corner here. Okay, so we have our zero set up and we have our geometry set up. Now, what I'm going to do, let's rename this uh, sub plate and then uh, we'll add another layer. Okay, and from here, we're going to extract edges from the model I guess it could go to Z that doesn't really matter but we'll get our wireframe and then I'm gonna go ahead and uh, get into the cam tree and I'm gonna blank this out alright so from here what I want to do is I'm gonna uh, pocket all this material down so let's select this and we're gonna go to a line style and a dotted line okay so let's go ahead and uh, just load up a pocket routine. We're going to clear all the material out. This is going to be pocketing. That's fine. So this is going to be 750. This one's going to be 750. Offset pocket 50%. That's fine. Depth of cut quarter inch. That's fine. Plunge. Go ahead and uh, use a uh, lead in and lead out. All right, so let's go back to our feature, pick bottom. We'll turn this back on and grab that. Okay, so it's a half inch down. And let's compute. All right, so that gives us the, almost, that almost gives us the uh, pocket routine for that shape. Let me go back in here and change my patterns. This should be an advanced pocket. And then uh, we'll go ahead and compute that. And that will clear uh, all the stock, leaving that boss. And you could use a different tool size or what have you. But uh, this is the first part. And then um, the other thing I want to do is I want to come in and um, tap these holes. So we're going to do uh, tapped hole, select geometry. We're going to pick the holes that we want to work with okay uh, pick bottom we'll grab the bottom of this okay and uh, yeah we'll just run it we have a center drill we have our drill <clears throat> we have our chamfer um, let's see here we probably this okay so it's picking up the the whole diameter which is great but it doesn't because it's a drill cycle we got to tell it uh what size um what size hole we want to tap so i'm going to do it uh unc 3816 which is fine so that should change my uh pre-drill uh chamfer that's fine tap okay let's go ahead and compute so that will go ahead and create our holes all right, so let's run this through a simulation. And uh, so this is going to be our subplate that we'll use to uh, hold the part as we go through additional uh, operations. Uh, we're just pocketing out everything. We're leaving the boss in the center. And, uh, you know, I think I, I think I made a mistake. It's probably looking at... Um, it's probably looking at uh, drilling from the top of the part but see what we did is um, 
we already had cleared the material down so if we let me blank this one out so we'll blank this out uh, we'll blank this one out and then if we edit this where it see where it says top apart it's looking at zero so my spot drill isn't gonna pick up so let's go ahead and pick top apart which is gonna be this level here okay and then when we do this we want to make sure that we have enough room to go out I mean there's G99 and G98 but I'm just gonna make this uh, 750 which is fine uh, pick bottom I'm gonna pick the bottom of this now and then compute this and what this will do is bring that uh, that toolpath down uh, down to the uh, starting at this level that we pocketed down to now <clears throat> let me post up the code real quick if we post this and we look at this we're gonna see that it comes down to a quarter inch uh, uh, let me turn this one off post yes no all right post the code all right so we're at a quarter inch and it is G99 so G99 is gonna go to the R plane we don't want it to be in uh, G99 I mean it might be okay but you can get into trouble as it repositions and I'd rather it uh, just be above the part so what I want to do is change that uh, when you're in the feature itself under posting you know you don't see any options for G98 G99 it's done in the post itself so we'll come into the post and uh, so we'll come into the post. This is the uh, BC3X. So BC3X. We're going to edit this in Notepad. So this is the post processor. We're going to come down to the drill cycles, which are down here. Um, and you can see it has the option for G98, G99. There may be a yes no option down in the bottom. I'm just going to hard code uh, quote G98 quote and uh, yeah I'll just do it on one I can do it do it on all of them but I'll save that and then um, I'll go ahead and post it up again <clears throat> so now you'll see that uh, it, we're in G98 which means it will go to the uh, previous uh, Z position so it's even though it's showing it at the R plane uh, it will actually go to the clearance plane between things so um, so yeah so we got our subplate done uh, in the next video we'll look at uh, machining this part and uh, we'll pick it up from there uh, if you guys have any questions comments or feedback uh, please reply back to the Facebook the YouTube or whatever thread this video may be posted in otherwise we'll see you in the next one thank you so much guys